Hey guys, Sherry818 here. Happy New Year. I hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. I am here today because I have something to share with you guys. I've disappointed myself. I let myself down. And in turn, I feel like I let you guys down because you watch my videos, because you have faith that 4C, 4B, 4C hair can grow long. So, this is what I want to show you guys. I pretty much have a decision to make and I wanted your opinion on what should I do. I already know what I want to do, but I just want to hear what you guys have to say, okay? If you think it's as severe, it is kind of severe. Um, whew, what is she talking about, right? What is she talking about? Well, I'm going to show you guys right now. Bear with me. Okay, first, don't mind my hair. I started twisting it, started twisting it in the back. So I have twist in the back and um, I didn't finish. So I have to finish this. But what I wanted to show you guys was this. Check this out breakage do you see this horrible breakage this is what we call breakage <laughs> also on this side more breakage and this is not bad I mean it's bad but it's not that bad I could you know I could blend it in with the longer pieces of hair so I think the front I could get away with but it gets worse guys it gets really bad it breaks my heart to show this to you it breaks my heart that it even happened but I'm gonna show you are you ready okay you might want to sit down get a glass of water or something okay I have to show you what happened in the back of my hair yes that's what's going on in the back of my hair guys really 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 short hair in this section right here I don't know what happened I don't know how it happened but yeah yes, and there's more like in here and these short I know I know I know I know and it's not just those two little pieces. There's more in there that's really, really short. And I just have other pieces of hair that are just not the same length as the longest pieces of my hair. So it's a very uneven. Let's talk about some reasons why this may have happened. As you all know, I use the Magic Star Comb. Now, I'm not blaming the Magic Star comb because I love this comb. It's nice and smooth, no seams. It's awesome. Like, when I comb through my hair with this, I have no worries that my hair is snagging on anything. But, aside from the Magic Star comb, I bought two other combs from um, the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the Hercules Sagman line, or Sigman line. And this comb, and this comb. These combs are sharp. I know the company, if you go on the website and you read the reviews, right before you read the reviews, the company explains why the comb is the way that it is. But um, just because you put an explanation doesn't change the fact of what it does. But um, yeah. Now, I'm not blaming the combs only for the breakage that I have, but I think they helped. 
So, yeah, these two bad boys, like, I really wanted to like these combs. This is the 1975, and this one has two numbers on it, 581W, 703W, but it's a mini star comb. And, um, yeah, like I said, I really wanted to love these combs, but they're sharp. Like, look, I feel it. Like, it is sharp. It's sharp, you know? And this one, I have, like, broken hairs in it, so... But what can you do? Not use them anymore. So more reasons. I've been wearing my hair out a lot lately. So that could be a reason. Um, I haven't been moisturizing properly. So a lot of it is my fault because I've been neglecting to do certain things that I'm supposed to do. I haven't been protective styling. And um, yeah, that's my fault. Other possible reasons, um, some people say stress. I try my best not to be stressed. That rhymed. I didn't mean it. I didn't want it to rhyme, but it did. Everyone gets stressed. If I do experience stress, it's not for a whole day. It's for maybe a couple of hours. Not even a couple of hours. Maybe an hour. The most. I will let myself be stressed. Um, and, you know, and then I get over it. Like, I try not to let things bother me that much. I try to remain positive and all of that good stuff. But um, it could also be lack of water drinking internally. Like, you know, and like I said, moisturizing the hair. I, I wasn't moisturizing my hair properly. So what I wanted to ask you guys was, what do you think I should do? Do you think I should cut off? all of the hair and start over or should I grow it back try to grow it back like I already know what I want to do but I just want your opinion I would love to hear what you guys have to say so what do you guys think I should do chop 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 it off should I or just tough it out grow it out I could cover that in the back like I've been covering it and this this actually has been going on for the past several months I want to say I noticed more breakage like it started breaking I want to say sometime last year I know 2013 was just here but um I want to say like the summer of 2013, I noticed that it was getting shorter and shorter. And then just recently, it got like this short. So, um, yeah, I've been able to cover it up. So you can't really notice it. So what do you guys think? Chop it off or try to grow it back? Let me know what you think.